Ever tried to make your own brush on your iPad? It's not that easy, especially making stamps. But dry your tears because things just became a whole lot easier. What's up guys, Leninsky here and welcome to this quick look at Capture. Adobe Capture is an app that lets you use your mobile device to turn photos into patterns, shapes, brushes or color themes. Capturing color from a photo or image is super simple. There is no need to go to sites like Coolers.co or Adobe Color and hassle with uploads anymore. You just open the app and extract the colors. The assets are saved in your library and available instantly on a bunch of other Adobe apps, both desktop and mobile. But this video is not about those features, it's about making brushes. Should we dive deeper into Capture in another video? Let me know in the comments. Now let's make that brush. Download Capture to your Android or iOS device. Sign in to make sure what you create shows up on all devices. Go to the brushes assets and press the camera. Find something you think would make a nice brush or stamp and place it on a white surface. I'm gonna use this pineapple. A trick to get a clean photo without shadows is to tape a piece of paper on a window. Use the slider to brighten out areas that you don't want to use and take a photo. Choose a style. I usually just use the top one. Clean up your shot by cropping out big unnecessary parts and then go to refine. Use the slider to raise the highlights and then use plus and minus to remove or return parts of your image. Anything dark will be left in the brush and anything white will not. Go to settings and tweak your brush to your liking. Your brush is basically the image repeated over and over again, and the final look depends on how you set the images to behave. I'll show you. To see the effects of the sliders, we can increase the spacing. Size lets you set the size. Angle decides if the images should always be turned the same way, follow your stroke or just the initial direction. You can use pressure sensitivity to control size and flow if you want. Spacing is a big part of your brush's character. Increase it if you want to use it as a stamp. Scatter lets you scatter the images on one or two axes. Often makes the brush look wild. Jitter gives variation to individual images. Size varies the sizes, angle varies the angles and flow varies the flow. Play around with the sliders and see what you end up with. You can always go back and edit the brush, or duplicate and edit the copy. Save your brush with a cool name. Now your brush is available in your library. If you use desktop versions of Adobe software, the brush will be under libraries. To use the brush on a mobile device, export your brush as an ABR. You can either save the file somewhere on your device or the cloud to use for later, or export it right into Photoshop, Procreate or other apps that use ABR files. And now draw baby draw. Doesn't get much easier than that, does it? You can also use images instead of photos to make brushes and a bunch of other things in Capture. Want more? Let me know. Adios.